Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. A Memorial Day get-together for you here at the ballpark between the Tennessee Smokies and the Jackson Generals. Ready now, Roberto Caro, and we are set for baseball here this evening. The 1 1 home. Oh, that's off the plate. Ball two. Shot toward right center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. In now, Zach Davis is put in play to the right side of the infield. He's got a hurry, and an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! Standing in, Ian Rice. Two hits in 13 at-bats in the series so far. Here now the 2-2. Line drive to center field. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. That is four. The third base. Standing in now, Christopher Morrell down the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. This is foul right side. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Stepping into the box, That's Brennan good. Davis. He'll get That's to take his good. first cuts here. Right in. The 2 1. Fly ball right down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Curve ball, and he buckled him, but it's full 3 and 2. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. The second base. Rice over at second. Davis at first, two out in the inning. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now, three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. At the plate, Galley Cribs. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. One and one, here it is. Lifted in the air to center field. Davis is right there, one down. So coming to the plate, LT Tolbert. One out, nobody on. Skied into straightaway right. Caro is over just a few steps to his left as he takes it for out number two. Now batting number 12. He's two for seven in the series so far. Slider is right there. 83 on the gun. It's one and two. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. Bouncer to the left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Second inning set to go. Digging in, Alfonso Rivas. The 
one one home. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Robinson patrolling center makes the play one out. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Arama Sadiman batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Swing and a liner. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. That is not the pitcher, Wyatt Short. At the plate now, Wyatt Short. One and two now as that one's fouled off. One out and a runner on second base. Hit back up the middle, reined in. And that's the second out. Stepping up to the plate, Roberto Caro. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first half bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. That Jesus. One and one. Here it is. I changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone, you got to find a way to regroup. Adjust the batting gloves. Only look over the hard row 17 inches. Two balls and two strikes now. He's set the 2-2. Two -two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Here's the payoff pitch. Changed up on him here, and this is grounded to short. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now, striding into the box, Mark Caraviotis. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. And that's the first out. Now in the box, Christian Robinson, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. The 1-1 one, one home is strike two swinging. He's going to step out of the box, adjust his batting gloves, and pray he gets the exact same pitch as that one. Because if it comes again, we like to refer to that one in the biz as a cement mixer. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Through. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Lifted in the air out to center field. Davis is right there. And that will retire the side. Digging in to try it again. Ian Rice looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Yeah, and he's got to feel super confident right now. He's the only real offense in this game. Guys on the mound have been executing every pitch. Even count two balls and two strikes. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, what a great at bat to start this oh, inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. And he lays off there, ball four. Yeah, so the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Morrell. Working for the punch out and the offering. A runner at first with no outs here. Takes this the other way to right. Greer has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. 
Coming to the plate now, Brennan Davis has two hits in 11 trips for the series so far. Here now the 2-2. He is at the knees and called strike three. Into the box now, Trent Jimbroni. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit the other way out toward right field. Greer is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Standing in, Anthony Greer, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. To two balls and two strikes now. Line drive to center field. But this is unfortunately right at him in center field as he takes it in for the first down. So striding forward now, Don Marolio. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. The pitcher, Trevor Clifton, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. 1-1. Great decision there to pull back. Step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down, make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle. Now the 2-1 is going to be a sacrifice attempt as he gets it down. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. So striding in, no Gally Cribs, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. The 2-1 pitch. This is on the ground over to first. He's got it. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Digging in for his second at bat, Alfonso Rivas, as we begin the top of the fourth. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pitch for strike number two. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well-located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Tolbert is there for it. One out. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Arama Sadiman. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last AB. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. And another foul ball. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Wyatt Short. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Now batter. Now back to the top of the lineup, Roberto. stepping in, Roberto Caro. It was a walk in his last trip. The set and the 1-1. One -one. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. Into the box, now Zach back. Davis. Let's it's been an 0 for 2 effort back. for him to this point. Neither. A 1 1. This one's down to third. Oh, he makes the stop in time. That was exceptional. He got the out and prevented the runner from having a chance to score.
Now at the plate, LT Tolbert. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. The first baseman, number 12, Romo. Into the box, number 12. No contact there, and it's one and two. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. Now batting. So digging in now, Mark Caraviotis. Caraviotis. The set and the one-one pitch. At strike two on a well-placed changeup around the knees. Coming down in buckets, cats and dogs, insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy wet, Matt, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now, three and two. Christian Robinson is on deck. Now a hard liner towards short. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. The center fielder, number 10, Christian Robinson. Stepping in now, Christian Robinson. Soft liner towards short. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile the runner is in to score. Stepping in and ready for now another batter. shot. Third Drew eight. Ellis, runner in scoring Three. position with Sugan. Sent out to straightaway center field. Center fielder on the run. A dive, but it's off his glove. Throw to second, Got and he's out. That'll end the inning, but they do score one on the play. Joe Mantiplot is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Number 72, Joe Mantiplot. Into the box now, Ian Rice. Swinging a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get fouled. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Now back Digging in, Kirk Christopher Morrell. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Shoots this one over to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And there are two away now. Now to the plate, Brennan Davis. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Oh, and they pulled the a string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Ready for another chance? Anthony Greer hit it hard but lined out in his first at-bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A-B. He hit that ball on the screws. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a pool. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. Now the three and two pitch is in there. A called strike three. At the plate, Don Marolio drew a base on the balls catcher. his first time up. Marolio. 1-1. One, one. Seared down the first baseline. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Corbin Carroll will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Your general, number 18, Corbin Carroll. 
Runner at second here with one man out. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. So far this year against Southpaws, Carroll is below the Mendoza line. The batting average under 200, unfortunately. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you. This ball's down, and that could bring in a run. So now to the plate, Galley Cribs. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. James Norwood takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. LT Tolbert will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. How about it? Stepping in, number 12. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. And a bouncing ball foul. The one two. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Davis has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And there will be no attempt to score here as the bases stay loaded with two gone now. Ready for another shot now. Mark Caraviotis, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Ready once again, Christian Robinson. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Fouled away. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. He's set the 2-2. Two -two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A-B hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. This is on the ground over to first, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Miguel Aguilar takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Now with the plate, Trent Jimbroni. He flew out in his last at bat. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. He would have had to go with the old school Tommy Hawk approach on that one if he wanted to get on top, but he was able to lay off it. Two and two. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. And in a two run game right here, you really don't want to walk the leadoff guy to start an inning. You've got to keep that tying run in the on-deck circle as long as you can. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Now a throw over, and he's back easily. The one-two. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. Fielded cleanly. And the off-balance throw beats him at first. And that's a tough play. So a big moment here in standing in. Aramis Ademan. But a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. The 1-1. Lifted down the line and left. 
And they can't run it down. He's set and the one two pitch. Grounded softly to the right. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Aaron Castillo will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Big hitting for Tennessee. Number 33, Eric Castillo. Up high, two and one now. So far this season, with runners in scoring position, Castillo hits a little over the 270 mark. To two and two now. He's ready now. The pitch. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it with a pitch that high it's got him looking and that'll do it the inning is over Tommy Nance will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season riding in once again Drew Ellis he singled in two trips to the plate thus far The one two on a line that's a base hit in the left field so the leadoff man reaches in their half of the sixth the right fielder number 20 Anthony Greer to the plate now Anthony Greer slider clocked in the mid 80s there it's a ball and two strikes. On a rope to the second baseman. And it got there so quickly the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settle with just the one out. Striding in, Don Marolio. He hit a two bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run, get you a ribby. The second for one, relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Ryan Atkinson is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Now pitching and batting in the eighth. Number 34. Digging in the switch hitter, Roberto Caro. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Digging in once again, Zach Davis. He was a ground out victim last time up. Now the one and one pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up. And there's out number two. Digging in, Ian Rice. Ian Rice. the pitch and here's a ball out towards straightaway center field and that'll get down for a base hit the, batter, the third base Christopher Morrell standing in now Christopher Morrell back up the middle reined in throw to first in plenty of time and his side is retired with a traditional Stepping into the box, number four. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Into the box now, Galley Cribs. No hits to this point. Junior. 
had nibbled the corner there but missed two and one. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest yep, thing the is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Three and one to him now. count all the way here it comes swing and a ball sliced fouled into the seats down the left field line crowd gets up for the three two there's a ball ripped toward the gap in left center he's through first and hustling for second the batter number eight second baseman L.T. Tolbert. At the plate now, L.T. Tolbert. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. right side fielded cleanly and the off balance throw gets him nice play for the out digging in now number 12 no hits in three tries so far he struck out once the one one home seventh inning here at the ballpark four two our score Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers fall behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. He pulls into second safely as also on the play, a run comes across to score. In now, Mark Caraviotis. A ball and two strikes. Popped him up. Rivas has room in foul territory. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Jason McKinley has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Stepping in, Brennan Davis. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Two balls and a strike now. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should the say. Ball. His third punch the out of the game. Brent. The 2 1 home is a fastball that misses got to find a way to scratch at least one across you do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three there's strike two as the hanging slider was let go now the three and two pitch now a swing and he pops him up right up the chute this may be tough behind the plate and he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out now at the plate, the Alfonso Rivas. The he was beat. retired via the Alfonso ground ball last time up. Riva. The 2 1 is laid ball off three. of down and in. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two out base yeah, runner. Stepping up now, Aramis Ademan. He was a ground out victim last time up. Ball two. 
Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Scooped up. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Craig Brooks will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Christian Donahue will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number six, Christian Donahue. Here's a fastball now that's hit softly down the line to third. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And that'll give way to the third baseman, Drew Ellis. A 1 1. Ground ball left side. Reined in to second for one. On to first, a double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Anthony Greer. in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Here's the center fielder. He's there to make the play and that'll retire the side. Kevin McKenna takes the ball now in inning number nine looking to close the door. In now, Christian Donahue. It's been a 4 for 12 effort in the series for him coming in. They look like they're up against it here, down three on the road, trying to come back against a closer. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You get the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Robinson is there, and he has it for the first out. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Roberto Caro. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Now the 2-1. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Swing and a liner. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. Now back, left field. Back. Into the box, Zach Davis. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now that catcher, Ian Wright. So now to the plate, Ian Rice. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. And he misses with that one. Ball four. And that's going to load the bases now with still only one away. Bases are loaded with only one out. Into right center field. And this ball's going to get down. A base hit. One run is scored. The relay throw to third now. But he's safe as they also score a pair of runs on the play. Junior Garcia answers the call from the dugout as he'll try to record the final two outs of this one. Into the box now, Brennan Davis, and it's fouled away. Throw over to first, and the runner will get back standing. Curve 
ball. Bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. Two-two pitch is fouled away. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Try it 2 2. Bounce to first. And this is a base hit as they've come back to tie it here on the top of the ninth. The battle. The second base. Fred. Jimbroni. To the plate now. Trent Jimbroni. Into the corner and slicing foul. Just hung in there on that one. Three runs already home here. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. Coming to the plate now, Alfonso Rivas. And a pivotal moment in this one. Tie ball game, bases loaded. But the possibility of an inning-ending double play does still exist here. All even now, two and two. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Now at the plate, Haven Smith. The 1-1. One -one. Now a drive to right field. This could do it. Game over. Walk off home run. They say better late than never, and that's obviously something that he takes to heart as he puts a charge in one for a walk-off homer. Got to be the best feeling in all of baseball. Several good offensive performances in this one, but none better than the one turned in by the guy you see right there. He's our top player of the game. When you walk up to the plate and hit a walk-off tater, you're probably going to be the player of the game, and that was a clutch swing of the bat, and he'll be riding high on that one for a while, I'm sure. Tonight's one run game comes to an end six to five the final the generals came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win junior Garcia claims the win out of the pen his first so that'll put a wrap on things here this evening for my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa I'm Matt Vaskersian this has been a special presentation of MLB the show for more follow us on Twitter at MLB the show first for the victorious Jackson general six runs nine hits one error, they left seven men on base. For the Smokies, five runs, eight hits. One error, they left 12 men on base.
time of the ball game, three hours and 24 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please.